Sup boys and girls, Tweety here. Back on back playing Stanley Parable. We just got done playing uh, Minecraft and everything on this game. And a reset started us back over here. Let's see what's the going meeting on. Room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Mm -hmm. Now it should be this computer. No, it's not that computer anymore. I'm looking for awaiting input. Where's computer that says awaiting input? Not in here. Okay. What have they changed for me this time? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mm, let's do it. Door on the left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please, coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Downstairs. Now, is this going to give us that endless loop again? I wonder... But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had uh -oh. he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Ah. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever <laughs> he went? And okay, we've matter, seen this one, so I'm going to skip it. These starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply as, as it gets done. No, Stanley said to himself, this is so, all too we'll be back. strange, this can't be Okay, guys, we are back. I restarted after that, restarted the game after the, uh, uh, the end there. Um, yeah, it was just the same, same thing, but this seems to be changed. Now we got a hallway here instead of, oh, what the? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, let's, uh... Let's alternate. Do the wrong path, then the right path, then the wrong path. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. This is the wrong Stanley path. Did perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Employee yes, lounge. This room... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. This one we do the right. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, straight and got ahead. back on track. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, I think we've done this one before. From here, it's, um... Left. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. No, 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 no. <laughs> not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? I think this it's is the same. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? I think it's the same. Now, let's see, we went down right, left, down, left, right. Yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. Should be I've this. Got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. 
then we go down here. We end up in here. He no, says, no, 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 spoiler. no, 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 right no, 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 Interesting that that's there now. Okay, so all of his workers were gone. What could it mean? Let's see Stanley if there's any awaiting the input computers. A memo. Let's turn off all the computers too. Turn off all the computers. Make sure they're all off. Maybe we should shut all the doors that we can as well. Let's try that. So it came out of here. Okay, can't shut that door. Can shut that one. Can shut that one. Can shut that one. Wait a minute. What? What? Alright, now I'm confused. Where's the doors? There they are. I thought they were up here. Can we shut any other doors? Can we open any other doors? No. Okay. Alrighty. So here we are. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's do it. Door on the left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Coming right, to a so we don't want to go down. Walked upstairs to his boss's office. We got the bathroom here. We can go in. Oh, to be rich, is it a crime? To commit crimes, isn't it, it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. Hmm. Nothing. Okay door shut. Can we go in here? Yeah. We can. Oh, poor panda. Alright. Let's see if this goes anywhere this time. I don't think this goes anywhere. <laughs> we get the elevator music. Huh? What is that? Weird. Yeah, I don't think it actually does anything. Unless that takes us to the other Stepping into oh, his manager's office, it. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming oh. New Age music. <laughs> Let's 
sit here. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Okay. Open passageway. Down we go. <laughs> oh, we didn't say anything this time. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. All right, let's go this way. And... Bam. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I do. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Four, Each bore the number of an employee two, in the building, Stanley's co-workers. Nah. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Uh -huh. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? it? Was it even possible? Not possible. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Only half blind. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once hmm. and for What's this? all. What do we got here? We have numbers, right? Yeah. One. Two. Is that one three? Nope, that one's four. Where's three? That one's five, I think. Oh, what's this? No, I don't. doesn't seem to be changing anything. Control disabled. Um, let us. Where the heck is three? Oh, is that three? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, not doing anything. Nothing changing. Let's go in here and turn the power on this time. When at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible... Oh, Stanley. You didn't <laughs> just activate the controls, did you? I After did. After you get too enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is uh -huh. that what you wanted? Control? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, okay, you're we'll going to have to one. do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do, Two. for example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. 
Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. One. Okay, they're showing means. one. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite much. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock right now. These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on <sighs> trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, <laughs> clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge, <laughs> it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you... Oh, you... Goodbye, Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or death. It's all the same thing. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in Oop. until the moment I say, happily ever up. <laughs> I pushed a big red button. Well, that was fun. Let's do it again. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Turn off all computers. Shut all doors behind me. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mm -hmm. The meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, <laughs> Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to All his right. boss's office. All right, boss's office. 
Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, <laughs> hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Uh -huh. And we go down. Mind control. Escape. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Mm -hmm. Let's activate it again and see if, if that red button is The right lights there. rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to <sighs> find out? And then we'll end it. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom uh, meant right nothing. There, that guy. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. <laughs> he couldn't accept it. His own life in Pirate. someone else's control? <laughs> Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. Maybe. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very I want place. to turn it on. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery wouldn't. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did I you? I did. After they kept you enslaved all these uh -huh. years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yes. Control? Yes. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. Oh, I wonder if, if there was something important on that screen that I needed to see. have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this mm. is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Alrighty. It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Let's oh, this is uh, much better see. than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time Three. left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely uh -huh. in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other Three times, I let remaining. the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone oh. inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. Maybe... I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Three. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. And a red I button. I hate to see it go. 
but I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? But you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Ten? A hundred? A thousand? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time you fail. Just you and me and the retching explosion of fire and metal over and over and over for all of eternity. And Stanley died again. Okay. And Stanley died again. One. And Stanley died again. Four. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until... Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it. Nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to Four. pieces. Four. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Uh, Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. Two, and believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable four, life from the moment three, we fade in two, until the moment I say one. happily ever up. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. <clears throat> one more time. <laughs> the control. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? I did. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? 521. Control? 142. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, uh -huh. nuclear detonators are set to explode. 142, 521. How long until detonation? One. Then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more Open. fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments right, each one let's of let's try. More time to talk about you. One. About me. Where we're going, what all this means, I barely know where to Four. start. Four. What's that? Two. You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off erased the machine them. and set you free. Mm -hmm. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, Red or button. I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back code. the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. Red button. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? 
These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Mm -hmm. I mean, look at you. Five. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Two. Everything, anything, something here One. will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you Red. have any idea what your purpose in this place is? But you really believe there's an answer? One. How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Ten? A hundred? A thousand? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time mm. you fail. Just you and me and the retching explosion of fire and metal over and over and over for all of eternity. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. Hmm. And Stanley died again. <laughs> Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 <clears throat> seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds I can't until do 427. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in mm -hmm. until the moment I say, happily ever up. Okay. Like it if you like it. Dislike if you didn't like it. Let me know what you liked or didn't like about it in the comments section. We will see you next time. But until then... I'm out of here.